What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this Acura NSX that I just finished wrapping in Hexus Gloss Blue Chrome. I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Media52 for the material, best pricing, best service in Canada by far. Um, you know, if you guys are in Canada and you're looking for Hexus products, check them out. I'll put a link to their website and email in the description below. I also want to give a huge shout out to Dad Labs and Co. So I'm about to be a dad. I've got these amazing high quality shirts from Dad Labs and Co. Again, if you're looking for these kind of shirts and you're proud to be dad, go ahead, check out their website. I'll put a link in the description below as well for you. Let's get into the actual Chrome wrap. The Chrome wrap is extremely hard, guys. This is not easy stuff to install. It's actually quite terrible, especially when doing it on your own. I did do videos on the installation of this particular car, which will be on my website, ckwraps.com. The link will be in the top corner and the description below for you as well. I also have pre-existing Chrome installation videos on my website, so those will be there. Those are already there, uh, so you guys check it out. If you guys are looking to get you know, up your game and kind of get into this kind of stuff, uh, you kind of need to know how to start or need to know to start somewhere uh, as opposed to just kind of wasting money blowing through material because again, this stuff can turn out really, really poorly if you're not experienced or skilled enough or even know how to approach these, these panels and things like that that are going on in the car. And it's like surgery when you're installing this stuff, doing corners and, and everything else, it's crazy. The roll from Hexus actually comes 54 inches tall, so it's a little bit shorter than a standard roll. And um, so a standard roll is about 60 inches. And it comes 81 feet long, which gives you quite a bit to do a car. You know, that's actually six feet in the length from, over most rolls, because most rolls are about 75 feet. So that's good. But you know, you're gonna need that extra material. So you always order the whole roll. Um, I have about five feet left because I've made mistakes. Uh, I ripped the bumper right in half. I was pulling too hard, probably not enough heat, but I was just pushing the material way past what I should have been doing. What I should have been doing was doing something different. And uh, you know, that's kind of is what it is. So I'll you know, throw a little clip in there of me tearing the bumper off. It sucked, uh, kind of is what it is. Hey, you know, uh, I had to redo this front part of the bumper here three times. Uh, so that eats into the roll, keeps eating into the roll, you know, again and again and again. Um, I had to do other areas more than once, you know, just to make sure that it's coming out as clean as possible. With this particular material, every time you lift it, move it or reposition it, you get a glue line, okay? Um, so once it's down, you do not want to lift it. So this is like a one-shot deal for the most part. And getting this to look its best is really, really hard. There's actually no such thing as probably perfection, um, at least not yet. I mean, maybe they'll up the material and uh, it's adhesive down the road. I'm not sure. I heard there's a newer version of their chrome out now from hexus uk they said there's a, a newer version of their chrome out now haven't tried it yet looking forward to trying it so we'll see something more pressure sensitive would be great uh, this tax almost immediately it makes it very hard to do on your own you definitely want to have more than one set of hands i do this by myself but i have done a lot of this stuff in my life now the car looks phenomenal you know i'm going to show you again outside it looks phenomenal indoors and outdoors uh, let's go for a walk around the car and just talk about what i did Okay guys, let's uh, take a little tour around here. Uh, so there's multiple seams all over this car, just so you know. Uh, there's no seam on the hood. Obviously the hood vents need something. Um, the front bumper needed something here and even doing seams and inlays, you know, it's still setting it up was very hard. I actually wrapped this piece right here. This was uh, chrome. We opted to go with blue. Uh, you know, it kind of extends the, the length of the hood. It looks cool, could have went with black. Um, it's just better than chrome in, in the end. Uh, the door handle was wrapped black because uh, it was a gray plastic. Um, didn't really go with anything on the car at all, actually, which is kind of weird because the car actually started out as a silver car before I wrapped it. Uh, you know, lots of, of obviously inlays and seams and things like that. Um, you know, the videos, again, for this car will be, be on the website. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun one. You know, all getting all the way down deep inside, uh, the rear bumper was terrible, the wrap guys, this is where I snapped the material. Getting all the way down, like all the way behind here, you know, all the way down and behind here. Getting the film around these quarter panels, again, really hard to do. I mean guys, this lower rocker panel down here, extremely hard to do as well, because it has that high contour in it. Um, this car does have PPF underneath it, uh, halfway through, you can actually see the, the line right there. So halfway through that, the, not even halfway through the rear quarter panel, but through it, and then about halfway through the door, so a third of the way through the door. Uh, the full front fenders are PPF'd, same with the front bumper. The mirrors are also PPF'd. Uh, I don't know why they kind of just went halfway up the door. This is what it is. Um, all the way down in there, guys, all the way wrapped, all the way down. It's nuts. Obviously, the hood scoop's done. Hard to do as well. You know, this is uh, it's a ton of work. It's definitely not easy stuff to use. Um, you know, it really kind of messes with your mind 
and uh, physical exertion on top of that because uh, it's a lot of effort. It's not easy and uh, you know, requires a lot of mental strain as well. All right, guys, let's get the car outside. Obviously, the lighting out here is much different than inside the shop. Um, I have crazy lighting inside the shop, and outside, the lighting is just, un, you know, basically unbeatable. Um, you know, I bring the car outside so that I can also go over it, check it, make sure things are good uh, when I can. You know, if it's raining, it kind of sucks, but, you know, or if it's winter time, I don't take it out. But usually, I try to take it outside whenever I possibly can so I can check over the wrap and see what the natural light is showing me. Uh, as you can see in the wrap, it's picking up all kinds of different colors uh, and reflections off of the surrounding area. And, you know, we're just kind of in a, in a you know, building area here, industrial area where the building's kind of gray and whatever. Um, but you'll find that it's picking up more color, obviously from the sky. Um, you know, it's got those nice shades of light blue and dark blue uh, at different angles. So when we're looking at it, it actually turned out really good. Um, super excited for the customer to pick it up and see what he thinks of it when he gets here, because uh, it's going to look in my opinion, it's going to look great uh, to him. And, uh, you know, as long as he's happy, that's all that matters. You know, it, it doesn't matter really what all you guys think. I mean, you know, some of you will love it, some of you will hate it. But as long as your customer is happy, that's what matters the most. I did spend a lot of time on this. You know, this was dropped off last Sunday. It's now Saturday, uh, about 2.30 p.m. Dropped off Sunday morning. Uh, I started it that day, put it in about six hours that day. I put it in about another from nine till two o'clock today. So, you know, another five hours or so there. And, uh, you know, it's been a lot of work, you know, that's, so that's 10 hours there. And then every other day during this week, Monday to Friday, it was nine to 10 hours uh, of work. Uh, not a lot of things were able, you know, I was able to remove off of this car. I wasn't able to get the door handles off, that key little, that key lock thing. Uh, the taillights I couldn't even get out. Uh, so it was, it was tough. I got the hood vents out and the side mirrors. That was pretty much it. Everything else I had to work around. And that's really hard to do when you're wrapping with Chrome. Uh, again, Installation videos will be on my website, guys, as far as this goes. I have other Chrome Wrap videos already there as well. Uh, let me know what you think about the color. Again, I freaking love it. I'm kind of jealous. I wish it was on my Jeep instead of the green. I'm gonna give him some time with this. Maybe I'll have to go and get a roll and wrap my Jeep in this color because I think it looks actually way better than I thought it would. Uh, it's hard to tell when you're looking at samples uh, than seeing this thing in real life. Uh, in real life, it's like, whoa. Uh, so even the video that you guys are watching right now doesn't really even do it justice. Uh, you can only kind of imagine. When you take it outside, it's like high definition. It's just like a high definition wrap on a car and you know, it's definitely gonna do its part in drawing in attention, in my opinion, it's probably drawing mostly positive attention. Uh, it's not an offensive color. It's, you know, nothing too much in your face. It's just very bright, that's all. And you can actually do your makeup and hair in the reflection of it. Guys, I'm looking forward to doing more videos for you. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.